In this Code It Quick, I'm going to show you how to very quickly make a random forest classifier using Python's scikit-learn library. We're going to need some sort of data set to work with this, and it's going to be in the format of a NumPy array. So I'm going to copy and paste some data to get that data in here. So from TensorFlow, we import that as TF, and we get train and test to be the tensorflow.curious MNIST handwritten digits. So then we get train X and train Y, and test X and test Y, so that their shapes are the following. Our training input array X has 60,000 examples and they're 28 by 28. We have 60,000 true examples of the answer of that, that's the Y, and then we also have 10,000 test inputs and 10,000 answers as well. We don't want this 28 by 28, we want this into a vector, gonna flatten that. We simply reshape the two arrays so that we can do train X is equal to train X dot reshape where we keep the same first shape, so train x dot shape sub zero, and then the second thing we could do negative one to flatten it, and then we do the exact same thing for the test x as well. Now the data is exactly how we want it to feed into the model. Now we can go ahead and make our model with just a couple scikit-learn imports. We'll do from sklearn dot ensemble, we will import a random forest classifier, and then from sklearn dot metrics, dot metrics, we will get the classification report. So now that we have those two things, we can easily make our model with RF, just a variable name, is equal to calling the constructor of that function, and we don't necessarily have to pass anything. We can do rf.fit to train the model, and so to train it, we will give it the train x information and the train y information, the input and the true labels. Now to get the predictions for testing information, now that we fit the model, we get predictions with preds is equal to rf.predict, and we just have to give it the test x array. So now that th that stores the predictions, we can print the classification report that tells us how well it did, where we're comparing our test y, that's our true labels, with our predictions that we received, and that'll tell us how we did. Here's our classification report, and it looks like we got about 97% accuracy, which is awesome. So I have the documentation for this function down below, as well as my code right here down below, so take a look at that. Subscribe for more!